Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Emmy, and today we're going to have a face-off between Samsung's Galaxy S and the HTC Desire, probably two of the most popular handsets currently on the planet. Both of these devices are running Android 2.2 Froyo. Both of them are quad-band GSM. Galaxy S is tri-band 3G, 900, 1900, and 2100 frequencies. The Desire is dual-band, runs on 900 and 2100 frequencies. Weight of the Galaxy S is 119 grams. Desire is a bit heavier at 135 grams. Build quality on the Galaxy S, you've got high-grade plastic around the display. Nice smoke gunmetal gray rim that encompasses the entire display. And on the back, you've got a rubberized back panel. Let me see if I can get this off, I'll show it to you. And it really still feels solid. Smooth by me there. Um, you can see it's rubber or rubberized, whatever you want to call it. But I tell you what, it's molded so tightly to the frame that the handset still feels very solid. On the Desire, you've got high-grade plastic around the display, a nice metal rim that encompasses the entire display. Got a soft texture coating down here at the bottom around the keys. On the back, again, you've got the soft rubberized texture coating as well as the slick-looking HTC logo. Again, it also feels very solid. Looking around the Galaxy S on the bottom is the microphone. Left-hand side is the volume rocker up and down. On top is your micro USB port. Got a cool little door to protect it and give you easy access, as well as a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right-hand side is the power and lock key. Looking around the Desire, on the bottom is the microphone and micro USB port. On the left-hand side is the volume rocker. On top is power and lock key, as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back, both of the handsets offer 5 megapixel cameras with autofocus, geotagging, touch focus, face and smile detection. The big difference is the Desire also offers an LED flash. Both of them shoot 720p video at 30 frames per second. The Desire also offers a video light. Underneath the battery covers, Galaxy S has a 1500 milliamp battery. It's rated at 13 and a half hours of talk time on 2G, 6 and a half hours of talk time on 3G. The Desire has a 1400 milliamp battery rated at 6 hours and 40 minutes of talk time on 2G, 6 hours and 30 minutes of talk time on 3G. They both have their micro SD card slots underneath the battery covers as well. On the Galaxy S you do not have to remove the battery to replace or exchange the micro SD card. On the HTC Desire you do. Alright, take a look at the displays. On the Galaxy S, you've got a 4-inch Super AMOLED capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels, offers multi-touch and accelerometer sensor as well as a proximity sensor. On the Desire, you've got a 3.7-inch AMOLED capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels as well. It also offers multi-touch and accelerometer sensor and proximity sensor. Just underneath the display on the Galaxy S, you've got three touch-sensitive keys, a back key, a home key, and a main menu key. On the Desire, you have three physical keys, one combination key of search and back, along with a main menu key and home key. Then you also have an optical trackball for navigation as well. As far as memory is concerned, the Galaxy S comes in two versions, an 8GB and 16GB version. It has 512 megabytes of RAM, 2 gigabytes of ROM. Memory can be ex internal memory storage can be expanded an additional 32 gigabytes through the use of micro SD cards. On the Desire, you've got a little bit more RAM, 512, 576 megabytes of RAM, 512 megabytes of ROM, and memory can be expanded an additional 32 gigabytes to the use of micro SD cards. Both of the phones offer Wi-Fi, the Galaxy S 802.11 B, G, and N, the Desire 802.11 B and G. Both of the phones offer Bluetooth. Galaxy S version 3.0 with support for A2DP, the Desire version 2.1 with support for A2DP. Both of the phones offer GPS with support for AGPS. Both of the phones can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. The Galaxy S offers HDMI out. The Desire does not. Both of them offer Adobe Flash 10.1. They both run on 1 gigahertz processors. The ARM Cortex-A8 Hummingbird for the Galaxy S and the Qualcomm Snapdragon for the Desire. They both, again, offer Android 2.2 Froyo. The Galaxy S has Samsung's TouchWiz 3.0 UI overlay 
and the Desire has HTC Sense UI overlay. All right, let's take a look at a couple YouTube videos on both of the handsets, and we'll try and kick these off at the same time. Looks like the Galaxy S loaded just a little bit quicker. Turn up the volume a little bit on one of them. Unfortunately, I know I've done that. Let's see if we can take a look at a couple more. And let's try this one right here. Again, the Galaxy S was just a hair quicker on loading the video. Since we're on a roll, let's try one more. All right. There's a look at the YouTube client and loading and playing some videos on YouTube. All right, let's run our unofficial speed test on both of these handsets, the Galaxy S and HTC Desire. Let's start out by opening up Mail on both of them. And here we go. All right, you can see that Orbitz is trying to pitch me something. Let's try opening up Maps real quick on both of them. Here we go. And we'll wait for the GPS to lock on both of them as well. And we got the lock on the Desire first. Let's open up YouTube on both of them. That looked like the HTC's, HTC Desire was just a hair quicker. And then let's go to Flickster on both of them. And again, the desire looked like it was a little quicker. And let's run a preview. And the Galaxy S was definitely quicker on getting that set up and opening. All right, so there's a look at these two handsets with our unofficial speed test. All right, let's continue our face off and run our navigation test on a Desire and Galaxy S. And the Galaxy S operates a little bit differently in setting up your search. You need to hold down the main menu key and your search application will open. Then pushing on the search key will launch your search, whereas on a Desire, just holding down the search key will take care of it for you. Navigate to Starbucks. And we're all set on the desire. And we have to wait for the GPS to lock. Left at La Road. And there then we go. Turn left at Road. And there's the uh, Galaxy S. Galaxy S seem to have somewhat of a brain fart in the search. Again, they're both hooked up to the same Wi Fi network. So I'm not quite sure why that was, but it did seem to have a little bit of a brain fart in getting set up. So there's a look at navigation on these two handsets.